Hey guys, Yarek here. Welcome to Amberscape. Today, as you can see, I'm in different location. I'm at my girl girlfriend's place, and <coughs> hey guys, welcome to Amberscape. Yarek here. Today I'm at a different location, as you can see. This is my girlfriend's parents' place. Tractor, she... Yeti. <laughs> as I said before, this is my girlfriend's parents' place, and she has some work around the house to do, and I not really have anything to do. So I decided to do something, um, some sort of attraction for myself. So I did bring this ember with me in these weird looking uh, plastic bags and I'm gonna polish so what do I have here is so I have uh, thermite in one of these pieces uh, some sort of huge ant and probably a fly so I'm gonna polish these three pieces and I have everything I need in this place in this place, uh, place as you can see I have my Dremel here and all the tips I'll need, the safety glasses, and let's get to work. So, uh, I will start polishing right now, but I, I'm thinking I will do something different in this video. Since I don't have the means how to show you the process of polishing today, because I don't have my equipment with me to film it, I will show you the process of how I make the photos, with Photoshop and everything. So it will be a little bit different. And now, to do that, first we need polished ember, so... And in just 10 minutes, the weather have changed to this. Now, when all the pieces are finished, it's time to make some photos. But first, let's appreciate the shininess they have. So yeah, it's evening now and I'm trying to make some photos. It's quite challenging because my equipment is not the best and I'm making from 20 to 30 pictures trying to stack uh, focus on one part of the body, like a little bit on legs, little bit on head and so on. Then I will go and uh, try to focus stack and glue them all into one picture so we have to focus stack on the whole thing and I will show you the whole process. So first, just take your pictures and drag and drop them to your project. The Photoshop will ask you to resize the pictures and I don't want any of them resized, so I just keep pressing enter. And then I did review all the pictures. Uh, as you can see, the first one have this weird distortion on its face, so I don't want that to be in focus stack, so I did remove them and go ahead and review all your photos and delete the ones you don't want. When finished, go ahead and select all of them and click convert to layers. Now you can align them. So click on edit, auto align layers and then you will see this pop up, just select auto option, until it will process, it will align all the pictures so it knows how to stack them better afterwards. When done, click edit, auto blend layers, and then you will see this pop up and just use stack images. So it will take a while to process all of them, and when finished, you will see the focus on all of your pictures at once, like this. And now it looks a lot better. You can click on the photos to see which parts uh, of each photo it did choose for focus part. So yeah, and that was just one photo. I will finish the rest and we will preview them together. And so, the first inclusion is this nice fly. It is very nicely preserved have a little bit of reddish color, especially in its eyes. And yeah. 
second one is the ant. It's pretty big ant. It is quite nicely preserved also, but it's head almost sticking out of the piece, so that's quite a shame. And the last piece is a termite. And there is some action going on. Uh, you see a big wing from the left side and he, the wings on this termite looks quite weird. He is actually dropping them. And so yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. It's a little bit different because I couldn't uh, film the progress how I do polish the pieces but I decided to show you something different how I make the pictures. So yeah, see you next time and bye!